Greetings, my world history students. Today I'm going to teach you how to use BibMe to make a bibliography for your research paper um, or any kind of research project that you might be working on. All right, so um, the first thing you're going to do is go to bibme.org. You can see right there, bibme.org. The page will look like this. You're going to want to go up and uh, create an account if you don't have one already. Go ahead and use your school email address um, and if you click up here it will walk you through your steps. Alright, next we're going to actually look how to create our bibliography. Alright, you can see in a separate Word document I have um, listed the sources that I'm going to be using. Um, you are required for your project to have a book, a website, and a journal article. So I've already done the research and now we're going to go ahead and cite the research I've done. Alright, so let's first let's um, start with something easy by just trying to reference our textbook. Let's see. So, Modern World History Patterns of Interaction. Make sure that it is under the Book tab, put it in, and then hit Find Book. Now, the nice thing about this program is it will automatically find these sources for you most of the time. It will put all of the information in here, and then all you have to do is hit Add to My Bibliography and you will see now it's already been added, it's already in the correct format. Now one thing I want to remind you is make sure you don't leave it on MLA. You're going to want to click Chicago. So once you've hit Chicago style, it's now in Chicago. You don't just want to copy and paste, make sure you hit download to Word when you're completely done. Alright, let's add some more of our sources. Our next source is a book called Berlin on the Brink, The Airlift in the Cold War. So let's again copy and paste that one. We're going to put it right in here, and again, it's still a book, so we're going to paste, and let's see if we can find the book. Now, sometimes we're going to see that there's a little bit of trouble um, with finding the exact book. Another option we could have is to look at the ISBN number. So let's copy and paste and see if that one will work, since the title didn't seem to want to be working. Oops, let's try it again. Okay, so if it gives you any glitching, maybe you can just move to a different tab and then come back. All right, so we see here it's by Daniel Farrington, 2012. This looks like the correct book that we are looking for. If we select it, we will see everything here is already filled out for us, and all we have to do is add to my bibliography. We now have two of our four um, references complete. Alright, let's go ahead and look at a website and see what we would do for a website. So this is, we'll just take the uh, web site and we'll copy and paste that. And again, we're at the website tab. Hit copy and paste and find website. Alright, so here it seems to not fully know, have the references already, but it's already found some information for us. And all of this information is correct. It's um, the Berlin Wall, that's the title, and then it was from um, a and &E Television Networks, so I'm gonna, and from History.com, so I'm going to go ahead and hit Continue to Final Step. So you can see that they've already posted in a lot of the information for us already, and so we can go ahead and add to my bibliography. If we look back up here at our bibliography, we are now up to three. All right, let's go ahead and work finally on a journal article. Okay, so let's look and see if we can find it by the title, The Cold War in Berlin. Copy and paste. Find the article. All right, so there's a number of articles here. We're going to look and see if we can find one called The Cold War in Berlin by Let's see if it's by Herbert. Herbert E. O. Herbert. So we have successfully successfully found it. So we're going to go ahead and select this. Now another option that we could always do, um, we can always go into the manual entry mode. So autofill will be what it's what they find. Manual entry mode will let us change things. If, for instance, we we think that this was the wrong page number, you could go in and change it. But we know in this case that it's not. So we're going to add that to our bibliography. All right, we have now completed 
having our textbook. This one, this is our uh, website. We have our, um, our book and then we have our journal article. Now that these are all in, don't give in to the temptation to copy and paste. What you need to do is you need to download to Word. Okay, and once you've downloaded to Word, you are going to find that you get this great already formatted for you um, paper that you can just uh, copy and paste onto the end of your uh, uh, research paper or research project um, or you can copy and paste it wherever it needs to be you can just print this out the nice thing about this it says Chicago style by bibme.org if I see this at the bottom of your research uh, reference page I will know that you have used the correct format again up here you have the choice of MLA APA Chicago and make sure that you have um, gone to Chicago it's a great way for you to check too when you're finished, if you'd like to, you can save it to your account so you can use it at a later date. All right, have a great day, guys, and good luck on your research.